Hi everyone, Miss Mary from Manhasset Library and today we're going to make a very fun little craft using what you have around the house. Here is my little tic-tac-toe game. It's very hard to see, I know. But you guys all know how to play tic-tac-toe except here we're using ladybugs. Let me see, here's, my, here's one of my ladybugs. And here's one of my tadpoles. So we're using stones, small stones. So just, I got some of these at the beach. Small stones that we paint. Some cardboard. For my sample, I used a shoebox lid. For this one, this is actually cereal box. So you just cut out a square. Then you need a piece of green paper to cut out the little lily pads that they're going to sit on and some paint. Here's all my paint. I use red paint, two greens, a light green and a dark green, some white, some black, not much black, and blue, blue for the cardboard. And then we need a black marker and paintbrush. And some Q-tips. Q-tips are awesome for making circles. And that is about it. A scissors. You will need a scissors to cut out your cardboard and to cut out your little lily pads. So go get everything together and we'll make our craft. Okay, so the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to paint our cardboard blue because that's the color of water, right? I'm using a sponge brush because it's just the easiest and there's my color. You can use any blue paint you have and really just get the paint on there and paint this whole thing blue just like that back and forth. Now, I'm not going to paint this whole thing because then I have to wait for it to dry and this video will be really long. So you get the idea. You paint this whole thing blue and then you're going to put it away and let it dry. Okay? I'm just going to leave this. Then while you're waiting for that to dry you can paint your little stones. Here I have some stones. I have a lot of them. So you pick the best ones and try and pick ones that are roughly the same size. I think I'll pick these ones. So I'm going to paint one ladybug and one tadpole. I'm not going to paint all of them today. So, for that, I'm using this brush, a smaller brush. I'm going to paint this one red. Now, before you paint pebbles, put some paper towel or newspaper or something on the table so you don't make a mess everywhere. And you might get some paint on your fingers, but that's okay. So, you just paint the whole thing red first. This is where you're going to get paint on your finger because you have to paint the back of it. And then when you have the whole thing painted, just leave it on a paper towel or a paper plate or something like that and let it dry. Okay. So now that my red one, see, I've got red paint already. On my fingers and you might too but that's okay clean it on a paper towel and you can wash them when you're done now I'm going to paint the green one and for the I have a pretty bright green I'm going to paint this one green 
me paint the whole thing. So you can paint at least five each. So you have five green and five red, so you can actually play this game with someone. So paint the whole thing green and then put it on your paper towel to let it dry. Which I'm gonna do. Now I have some green on my fingers too. And now we're going to put in the details. I have these ones that are already dry. So I'm gonna paint these. So the first thing I think I will do, I will paint some darker green spots on the ladybug. Now it doesn't have to be very dark, just a different type of green so you can actually see them. So I'm just going to paint little spots. Really, you can do it just like that. And decide first where you're going to put his eyes. Like I'm going to make his eyes go on this side of the stall. So I'm going to put the spots on the back. And you can just put as many spots as you think might look good on it. And then put that aside. And then we're going to put white paint. front of the little rock to make his eyes. I'm just using the same brush and I'm cleaning it. And I'm going to make pretty big eyes. Let me turn it around so you can see it. See, I'm going to put eyes right here in the front. There's one. And there's two. See, just like that. So let me put that down and let it dry. Now you will have more time to let all this dry in between. I don't, but that's okay. Now, see, my dark green is not really dry yet, but I'm going to go ahead and put little white spots in the center of the dark spot. And I'm using a Q-tip. And you can practice on your paper plate or something first. Just little dots right in the center of those dark ones. It doesn't have to be perfect. See? Like that. And now, with the other side of my Q-tip, 
or you can get a different Q-tip if you want. I'm gonna put a little, actually this Q-tip doesn't look very good, it's strange, so I'm gonna use a different one. I'm gonna put a little yellow dot on the eyes, right in the center. put some more paint. My white is not dry so it doesn't want to stick too well but that's okay. There we go. Now we're going to leave that there. And now I'm going to decorate my little ladybug using a sharpen. So decide where you want the ladybug's eyes to be. I'm going to make mine on this side. So then you do a line, if you look at a ladybug, they have a black line right down the center. Like that. Bring it all the way down. Now we're going to give it some little dots. They can be as big or as small as you want, but I think ladybug dots need to be pretty big. It's easier to do these with a marker than paint, but you can do paint too if you want. Like that. And now we're going to give him a little triangular nose right here in the front. Something like that. And now, our ladybug needs some eyes. And I'm going to, with a Q-tip and white paint, I'm going to give it two little eyes. dry and I have to go back to my little tadpole see if the yellow is dry yet not really but he needs a little black eye right in the center of the yellow that we put on just like that And there we have it. Now, let them dry for a second. And now we're going to take, this is the green paper that I have. And I'm going to cut out little 
lily pad shapes. Now lily pads are sort of circular, but not quite. So you can decide. And you'll need, a, you will need nine of them. They don't have to all be exactly the same at all. But cut out nine of them. See here, I have two of mine. And then you're gonna glue them onto the board. It's probably gonna be dry now. So glue them with either glue or a glue stick onto the board that's blue. And then when you have all your tadpoles and your ladybugs all finished and decorated, you can play your game. So here they are. Just like this. I did five. You should do at least five. See, aren't they cute? They are. And you don't have to do them exactly like mine. But I like ladybugs. Okay, so have fun, and I'll see you next time.